episode had introduced us to Greek mythology, but ancient Greek was so much more than that. I always fancied this pioneering civilization because of how it had greatly influenced our daily lives. And that's what we're going to talk about today. In as early as 3000 BC, wandering tribes began to dwell in the region near the Aegean Sea. They flourished in cities like Messene. For over 2,000 years, these scattered tribes, despite the lasting minor conflicts, were considered as one race, the Greeks. In 1194 BC, Messene and its allies fought a war against the city of Troy. The Trojan War ended when the Greeks used a wooden horse to invade Troy. Not long after their victory, the Dark Ages began, when Dorian invaders used kind weapons to defeat and conquer Messini. After the collapse of Messini, the government started to develop, and the first form of city-states were invented. From 800 BC to 479 BC, Greece had many developments in numerous aspects, including politics, warfare, and culture. It was also when the first Olympic game was held. In 499 BC, the greco persian War became the most significant battle in ancient Greek history. It led to a series of wars that lasted for 50 years. The Greeks won the battle despite being the weaker party. A lot of films were made to immortalize this momentous event and the most famous one was the movie 300. Tonight, we died in hell! Upon their victory, the best Greek runner was sent back to Athens from the battlefield near a small town called Marathon to deliver the exciting news. He ran about 42 kilometers and died of exhaustion when he arrived. This was the origin of a long-distance Olympic event, the Marathon. The period between 480 BC to 404 BC was known as the Golden Age for Athens. It was a peak of the ancient Greek civilization. The Greeks created the Thelian League, an association of city-states to liberate the eastern cities of Greece. In 431 BC, a war ensued between Athens and Sparta, the two most powerful city-states in ancient Greek at that time. Athens became powerful and wealthy, and this caused Sparta to become jealous and distrustful against them. It led to a war that lasted for 10 years. Sparta won the battle, and the democracy in Athens were replaced with oligarchy. The democratic government was replaced by a ruling body of 30 tyrants. On the very edge of northern Greece ascended the powerful kingdom of Macedon. In 336 BC, Alexander the Great inherited the throne and began to aggressively expand his kingdom. This formidable king achieved marvelous military success despite his short 13-year rule. Because of his great governance and became one of the greatest leaders in ancient history. He never lost a single battle and spread Greek culture around the Asian world. After his death, the expansion of the Greek culture continued and outlasted his rule. In 146 BC, Greece had been conquered by Rome and became a Roman province which marked the end of an ancient Greece. Being around for 3,000 years, the Greeks had a huge influence on the modern world in art, sports, language, and even politics. The first Olympics used to be a part of the religious festival made to honor the Greek god Zeus. The winners of the event were crowned with wreaths of olive leaves and are held as heroes. Fifteen centuries later, the first modern Olympic Games were reborn in 1896 and was held in Athens to pay tribute to the Asian Olympic Games. 
Asian Greek literature has greatly influenced countless generations across the world and has introduced poetry, tragedy, and comedy to all of us. One of the most famous Asian Greek classics are the Iliad and the Odyssey by Homer. Another well-known Greek literary piece was Aesop's Fables. Some of the most loved fables from the collection are The Hare and the Tortoise and The Boy Who Cried Wolf. To this day, Aesop's Fables is still widely used to teach children lessons about moral living. In a non-religious way, Asian Greek philosophy made sense out of the world and changed our way of thinking about the universe. Thanks to the Greeks, their thoughts and teachings are now the basis of the modern philosophy. The Asian Greek contributed enormously in the history of art, mostly in architecture and sculpture. Greek architecture can be distinguished by their majestic columns. Built in mid-5th century BC, the Parthenon was a temple made to honor Athena. It became such a precedent and inspired many other well-known architectures. As a devotion to Asian god and goddesses, Greek sculptors often make lifelike images of perfect humans in their carvings. Some of these famous Greek masterpieces, like Venus de Milo, Discus Thrower, and Alexander the Great statue, can still be found in museums around the world. The Greeks made major contributions in science and mathematics. They developed series and useful inventions that we still use these days. Considered as one of the greatest mathematicians and scientists in history is Archimedes. He made many discoveries in math and physics, which includes finding a very accurate estimate of the value of time. His scientific studies are so ahead of time that it took 1,800 years before his works are fully understood. The Greeks were the first civilization to study medicine in a scientific way to cure illness, which is where the modern medicine was emulated. The most famous Greek doctor was Hippocrates. He was the father of modern medicine and based his medical practice on observation and study of the human body. Nowadays, medical professionals still swear to practice medicine ethically under the Hippocratic Oath. Overall, the ancient Greek civilization left a remarkable legacy that lives on the world. That was so much fun! I hope you had a great time learning Asian Greek history with me. See you on my next video.